Hey everyone, I'm the Lone Wolf, and welcome to The Hospital, a short first-person narrative-driven horror game by Crux Game Studios. Now this game can be found on itch.io, and the link to its game page will be in the description below. Now without further ado, let's begin. I am wearing my headphones. Are you wearing yours? Just brightness till you can barely see word crux on the door. Oh, I, I don't know how dark it's going to make it, so I'll just... I'll leave it like that. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate, intubate me if my condition get, got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now, can barely breathe. I am, we're into it. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint! Walk around using the Wasad keys. Look with your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Chairs. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Hospital bed. My bed. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was re as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Maybe I didn't get up. Maybe I'm dead and I'm a ghost. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. The hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll and the crashing economy. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away, watching TV as I whiled away those endless hours, struggling to breathe only made everything seem worse. The bathroom door appears to be locked. The bathroom door appears to be locked. Okay, so I can't open that. Oh, Jesus! That person out there. Maybe a doctor? I need to find out what's going on. Oh, that scared me. That's... I just stepped... When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night. Filled with nurses and doctors and patients. 
Now what did that door say? The door back to my room. It's locked. Yeah. Hospitals are never this quiet. Locked? Strange, there are no signs. I could swear there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obstetrics, radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two... Ha there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. I don't know which way to go. Uh, that looks like it might be a way to go, but... Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Right, that door's locked. Also locked. Sealed. Just like the others. Right, is, oh, is there a map? That's a map. Um, and I can't read any of that because it's too blurry. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Oh! Oh my god. I think I'm gonna need to check into a hospital with heart attack. This door's now open. Another locked door. Another locked door. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone. A nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. But what if we are already dead? And this is like just the step into beyond. What? Someone on the other side of this door? This room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. That figure. The sound came from out there. That figure I saw on TV. It reminded me of... No. It can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. And this is the long hallways. Oh! My God, another hallway. How many are there? Oh! It's locked. Who shut the door? Is that a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Well, that's something we can all agree on. Yeah. 
Okay, that door's definitely not opening. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw... It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare. Rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Right, now that scare wasn't scary. I don't know if it was intent meant to be scary. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture, and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except, everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Oh. Oh my god! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently? And at what cost? I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? <laughs> Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seeded by my past while my body lies, wasting away on a hospital bed? Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach. Just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to help. She refused. Wait. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand... What is this place? This could be Limbo. Maybe. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Doesn't budge. Oh my god! You... Oh. oh no, it's corn quiet.
I don't like those sounds. I do not like those sounds. Not one bit. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got that terrible call. She did it, didn't she? She ended it. <laughs> oh my! Friggin' hell! Nia! Oh god! Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note. Your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Oh man, I don't like that. I don't like this. Nia. What do you want from me? I think of that note you left. The last word you ever wrote. You stay back. Stay. You wrote. I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Oh! I'm... I'm... I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. The bed I was lying on fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well, or am I still trapped in this nightmare? So nothing else says no clock. It's still not working. Time seems to have not progressed at all since I first got my feet. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead, and this is my afterlife? These dreaded halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. Oh, really? The end? Oh, come on, don't be the end. That was so good. Oh, come on. That can't be the end. That's the, the, that's it. Oh, that was so good. Oh, man. Alright, so, I managed to find a couple more games for us to do. Um, this one is the Building 71 Incident by ScaryCube. Now, this game has a bit of a backstory, which I will read. That says, between 1997 and 1998, Building 71 
at a university in the south of Brazil was closed after allegations of a gas leak. However, during this period, on several occasions, suspicious activities were detected from within the building. An employee whose identity was not disclosed decided to investigate and record the origin of such activities. The man ended up being considered missing by the police, but portions of the recording are now being released to the public. Now, like with the last game, the link to the games page on itch.io will be in the description. And the same with the game after this, because we're doing three scary games. To ensure the best possible experience, it is recommended to use headphones and, if possible, play in a dark environment. Wait, is this game, is this, not game, this music copywritten? The Building 71 Incident. I hope this isn't copyrighted music. It probably is. I'm just going to have to keep talking over it uh, to confuse the YouTube. Oh, I didn't realize. I completely forgot about copyrighted music. Oh, I didn't need to read the description. Backstory earlier. It's it's right here. Right, inserting tape. Right, Seven twenty nine p.m. August eight, nineteen ninety eight. All right. What do I? Right, how do I get out of the car? I want out of the car. Uh, interact with objects, left mouse button or E, opening glove box. Yeah. Yeah, that seems normal. It's now 7.36 and I'm climbing through a window. Alright. And I'm in control. That's right, it's a university, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can't read that. And I don't understand that. Locked. Locked. And I can run and crouch. Why do I need to run? Room 204. Alright, so it seems pretty deserted. You know, obviously. Have you seen the moon? Yes, I quite often see the moon when I look outside at night. The moon doesn't go anywhere, it's still there. Oh, so time actually ticks over. It's now 7.38. Beds in a classroom. Remember why you're here. Oh, All right. December seventeen, nineteen ninety-seven. 
Marcello. Unsurprisingly, Daniel irritates us a bit. He understands well his he understands well his privileges of being related to Claudia and takes advantage of them to pursue the ascension. But I ask you, the simple fact that he is not a chosen one, and this is a fact. He's not enough what? And this is a fact is not enough to remove him from the group. We were never on the same page in regards to letting ordinary people join us. And you know I'm against it. I know Claudia would agree with me. At least on this matter. If she were still around to make matters worse, Daniel seems to be talking to outsiders about our plans. And before you ask me, no, he is not willing to participate in the initiation. Weak as he is, it was to be expected. Sincerely, Ines, Ine, Ine, uh, Ines, 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 something. Right, so there's a cult. Right. What is that? That's just a reflection of the, the light on the bars. A locked locker. Right. Rita Silviera on um, any the yeah, it's and we got Paulo Sparato Sparata Sparato. I can't read them. Hello, what was that? This open? Yeah, that doesn't open. Is that pasta? Spaghetti? Something? Right, so it seems like they were ho holding out here. Building 71 closes, gas leak, allege... Alle I'm assuming that says allegedly. Um... Is there anything else to read on that? I'm just saying build it. What just happened? More locked lockers. Well, there's some strange noises over there, but I can't get into the doors. Can't even open the bathrooms. This one's already open, that should be fun. So we've got a TV here. Let's see what this is about. Okay. Wait, what? Was there something on there? No. Alright, so I don't know what's the point of this room. Apparition, because only the chosen ones can see it. 
can see what though? Felt like I was floating, Claudius said. It was like I was really being pulled by it. I laughed when I heard what the what they said, but when I first saw it with my own eyes, I really felt my eyes attached to it. Attached to what? Hang on, it looks like this. There's, there's people there. Okay. Keep checking the rooms. Claudia, 1932. Okay, so they both open. <gasps> July 25, 1998. Luis asked me to send you a letter as you won't be back for a few more weeks. It's getting difficult to keep an eye on the offered ones. One of them came close to escaping last night when the stairs weren't being watched. And that got me thinking. This week we'll be piling up some of the old classrooms. Oh, no. We'll be piling up some of the classroom tables on the stairs, ensuring that only... Oh my god, I can't talk today. Ensuring that the only visible viable way to get around is by using the elevator. I think that way we can ensure that no one runs away. I'd like to know your opinion. Sincerely, Pedro. Now what's so special about the moon? Oh, that's that's not supposed to be like that. Can I look away? Is it getting bigger? That's getting bigger. Um, can I look away? going on with that? I wish the things I heard were a lie, but it seems they are not. I'm too old to put up with things like this, Roberto. I didn't leave you in charge of the congregation for you to take absurd actions. Initiation ritual? It seems like you're turning this into a business to take people's money. And worse yet, use the situation to feed the cravings of your sick mind. Please remember the beauty behind the ascension and why we started the congregation. Sacrifices were never a part of it. Well, it doesn't seem like you're in control anymore. I don't remember that TV being there before. Wait. Wait, what am I doing back here? What am 
I supposed to do? Hello? What do I do? I look back? Do I keep looking at the moon? What do you want me to do? Twenty past twelve. Uh, that's still probably very copyrighted. Um, right, so there's, I need to keep talking. Otherwise, I could get in trouble. Uh, lots of weird symbols on the walls. Spooky shit. Um, lots of... That's getting very loud. Um, I need to shut off that music. Look at the moon. Where do I look at the moon from? There's no windows. I mean, there are windows, but they're all closed up. Can't look out. <laughs> There's an open door now. So what am I doing? Am I... Alright. That's still... That music's still playing. The Building 71 Incident. By Scary Cube. Press Escape to remove tape. I think I should do that to stop the music. Alright, next up is Buried Darkness. A game by... I think it was Codeless Man? Codeless, was it Codeless Man? Yeah, Codeless Man Games. Now the other game just ended. Just The, the Building 71 incident just stopped. So that, that, that was a bit problematic for me. So, um... 
Yeah, that, that other one, the Building 71 incident, was good. I didn't really understand what was going on, that's, but that's on me. Um, I'll be sure to check out any other games made by Scary Box when they come out. Uh, anyways, um, this game's got a description as well. well most games do. Um, it says the game takes place in an apartment you just moved into, but there is something wrong with this place. You start hearing strange noises and rattlings. You have to do something to get rid of this darkness. The way out seems simple, but something wants to keep you in this place. In this game, you don't need to read many letters, read many notes, or finding the keys to unlock doors. This, the game's mechanics is designed to be fluent gameplay. And I am struggling with speaking today. Uh, this will be fun. And the, the link for this game will also be in the description. Alright, movement, WASD, left click, shift, yep, blah. Blah, 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 yep, all, all standard stuff. Um, I'm wearing headphones, so I've, I've got that ticked off as well. Oh. So, what's the problem? Today you were telling me about an apartment. Can you please send me the address? What happened? Well, I'm thinking to move there. You just already moved into a new apartment. Man, this apartment is terrible. It feels so cold and there are strange noises. I, I, I don't You know what? I've even got a security camera for the hallway the noise is coming from. So stop asking me what happened and send me the address. You're crazy. Hello? A second, I need to check the camera. Something is going wrong there. Question mark. We'd better speak face to face. See you tomorrow. Oh, I gotta click it. I should check the hallway. How, how do I get up? And the mouse sensitivity could be adjusted. Press C to interact security cam. Wait, do I need to be close? Yeah, I need to be close to do that. The uncertain. Tablet. Does it turn on? It does not. Clock. It, it doesn't work. Oh, squeaky doors. But those don't do anything. I don't want to watch TV right now. Ah, my phone! I will need to charge it. Okay, we'll go charge it then. Oh. 
Statue. Just that's all you gotta say. It's just statue. I'm bored to see that old stuff here. The owner of the apartment doesn't let me put my own stuff in the corridor and kitchen. Unfortunately, I got a rent discount for this rule. Right, none of these doors are opening. This one opens. I love drinking coffee while working. It's not plugged in though. Is that really a pencil case, though? More like a pencil holder, pencil tin. Scissors. Alright. Stickers? I guess people call things differently. Now, to me, those would be sticky notes. Alright, so I can't do anything else in here. Didn't think that was going to open. Soap. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Bathtub. Cleaning stuff. Towel. Clothes bin. Right now, this is the hallway where the knocking came from, I think. This door is locked since I have moved here. I don't know where is the key. Huh? I don't want to go outside. <laughs> Who would want to go outside? Everything seems alright, but not sure where the rattling's coming from. So what, do I just head back? Oh, no. Don't do that to me. Okay, lots of plates. Just your average kitchen. Nothing in the cupboard. Nothing in the fridge. Well, there's a few things in the fridge, but nothing important. Can I can I open everything? I'm not seeing anything in here that is really necessary. Don't know why I came in here. Well, I came in here because the door opened. What in the hell was that? Alright, can I stay in here and hide? I'm gonna have to go to that, aren't I? Close that. Oh, I don't like this. I've got a real bad feeling about this one. Okay, 
doors are still locked. What was all that about? Is that door going to close? As I walk towards it, is it going to close on me? Now, how could I guess that? I'm just going to keep making the rounds. That's a spooky picture. Right, well, what do I do here? I can't do anything. There's literally nothing I can do. Unless I'm... Oh, don't! Oh, I don't like this. I'm not a fan of this. Not one bit. There's going to be something behind me, isn't there? Yep. Oh, please don't kill me. Are you f friendly? Or something's gonna happen, isn't it? Maybe? No? Why do I walk so slow? I'm gonna close that door and forget about that area. I'm just gonna go back to my room. Oh, there's a photo. Alright, what's with all the, the rumbling? Okay, this looks the same as before. Okay, I'm I'm kinda confused. What's what's going on? Am I missing something really spooky? Cause what is that? What is it? That's that's a hallway, but is it this hallway? Is it this door? In here? I nope, still can't open those. Seems the same to me. Do I? Oh, it's it has changed. The 
painting's gone and the- OH! And it's now crying blood. Oh, you go stay there. Um, don't make me go towards you. Alright, come on. Come on. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Oh, fucking hell! What the hell was it there? Oh my god! Oh, I wanna get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for a new apartment, like, right away. God, how do I get out of here? I really want to get out of here now. Come on, come on. This does not look like my house. All the furniture's gone. None of the doors want to open. Can't even get to the kitchen to get something. Hear some walking. Alright, but where do I go? None of the doors are opening. Can't turn off the lights. I'm literally. Oh, a brick wall. Leave me alone. If you don't want to die. Oh, there's another note. Matt can't help you. So it knows of who I was talking to. Wait, because he died? Oh, no, 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 no. Turn back on, please. No, please turn back on. I can... I can barely see a thing. <gasps> oh! You creepy demon! Yeah, I still... I can't open any of these doors. Oh man, this is bad. This is a bad idea. Still can't leave. Still can't go into there. Um, that was something. She will know the truth soon. <gasps> oh! My, my God! Ugh. My office laptop to <laughs> do something. Call for help. Nine one one. I'm assuming that's where this is set. Um. I don't want it to. I've got to turn the light back on. I c I've lost the light switch. A 
my things back to normal or am I going down there? I don't like this house. Can I get a new house, please? Oh, I can't do anything with it. Am I meant to burn it? What do I do? I'm so lost, I'm so confused. I can't pick that up. This I've got to be able to do something with this. Oh. Pick it up with two fingers, or two mouse clicks. I should check the camera, maybe. I can. Ca I should check the camera. Maybe I can catch how these weird events happen. Just leave. Go outside. Get in your car and drive off. Stay in a hotel somewhere. Just stay out of this house. Okay, well, what? Nothing's happening. Oh, is that Matt? Oh. I Are you going to do something? But it was coming this way. Oh God, you are horrible. Gonna disappear? Yeah. No, I know, I don't wanna enter that room. I just need to get out of this damned place. There is nothing that seems wrong with this room, but I should not enter just in case. Alright, well I'll go leave. Alright. I won't go leave. I'll go into the horrible room with the doors gone on it. <sighs> oh. Oh. Hiya, you all right? <laughs> oh! God. Stop blowing out the candles, please. What is all this? Are there people hanging upside down? There's a body on the floor. Oh, I gotta blow out each candle, don't I? Happy birthday to me. Yeah, no, okay.
let me in your soul. <laughs> Have fun finding one. Stops. Thank you for playing this game. If you should see more games like this in the future, you can follow me on the itch.io. See you the next time. <laughs> Creepy ghost girl. I... I can agree with that. Alright, well, that's all the time I've got for today. If you like this video, you can leave a like. Tell me what you think in the comments down below, and if you want to see more just like this and don't want to miss anything, you can always subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.